Howdy folks, Ed here. Welcome back to Bullnose Garage. And today I am underneath the Bullnose to talk to you about this. This is the Ford 8.8 .8 rear axle. It's what I have in my truck. And if you guys got a Bullnose, it's a pretty good chance it's what you guys got in yours too. Ford put a bunch of these in uh, Bullnose trucks and Broncos throughout the 80s. So uh, that's, that's a pretty good rear axle. If you're going to put a whole bunch of horsepower or do a whole lot of torque, it may not be enough, but for the most part, you should be okay. I think I'm going to keep mine, believe it or not. So let's talk about it. So the Ford 8.8, .8, let's start with a quick overview. The 8.8-inch axle was introduced back in 1983. Ford needed something to replace their older 9-inch axle, and the 8.8 .8 quickly became the go-to for light-duty trucks, SUVs, and even performance cars, like the Mustang. But what makes it special? It really was used a lot. As a matter of fact, both my 1985 and my 351 Windsor donor vehicle have it installed from the factory. The 8.8-inch axle offers a great mix of strength and cost, making it an axle that Ford put a lot of trust in from the mid-late 80s and even into the 2000s. Now, you might wonder why Ford moved away from the 9-inch. The 9-inch is legendary, no doubt, but it was also more expensive to produce. The 8.8-inch was engineered to be more cost-effective while still offering plenty of strength for most applications, especially in light trucks and performance vehicles. Now, if you're rocking a bullnose Ford from 80 to 86, this axle might already be in your truck. Starting in 83, the 8.8-inch began replacing the 9-inch uh, in some F-150s and Broncos, especially in four-wheel drive models and those with bigger engines, but not always because mine's a 300 and it's got an 8.8, .8, so it could be in a lot of stuff. Uh, it didn't stop there. The 8.8 .8 found its way into all sorts of Ford vehicles, from the Mustang to the Explorer and even into the Ranger. Its strength and adaptability made it a hit in the performance and off-road scenes too. Here's a quick look at all the vehicles that came equipped with the 8.8-inch .8 axle from the factory. As you can see, the 8.8-inch .8 axle wasn't just for trucks. It found its way into a variety of Ford's lineups, so whether you're working on a Mustang, an Explorer, or a Bronco, there's a pretty good chance this axle could be part of your build. All right, let's get a bit more technical. The Ford 8.8-inch .8 is a solid rear axle using a single housing to enclose the differential and the axle shafts. The axle tube has a diameter of 3 inches, and in later models, especially from the mid-90s onward, Ford used heat-treated 1541H steel for added strength. That said, earlier models likely used lower-grade carbon steel, which worked just fine for lighter-duty needs. Now here's the kicker. There's no real way to know for sure what material your axle is made from, since Ford didn't mark or document it clearly. But honestly, for most builds, that's not something you need to worry about. If you're building a high horsepower truck, doing extreme off-roading or towing heavy, you might care more about the material, but that's where aftermarket axles come into play. Most folks will find the stock axles more than up to the job, especially if you've got 31 spline shafts. And if you're looking for maximum strength, aftermarket 31 spline shafts, often made from chromoly, are always an option. Another big plus for this axle is the variety of available gear ratios, ranging from 2.73 to 1 for better fuel efficiency to 5.13 to 1 for those who need serious low-end torque. For most folks, ratios like 3.55 to 1, 3.73 to 1, and 4.10 to 1 hit that sweet spot for both street and off-road use. You can tailor your setup to your driving needs, whether that's quicker acceleration or better fuel economy. So, how does the Ford 8.8 .8 compare to some of the other axles folks might be thinking about? Let's break it down real quick. We'll start with the little one, 7.5 inch axle. This axle was commonly found in earlier F-150s and Rangers. It's fine for light duty work, but it's 26 spline axle shafts and smaller seven and a half inch ring gear, meaning it can only handle around 2,500 to 3,000 pound feet of torque at most. It's lighter than the 8.8, .8, but it lacks the strength, making the 8.8 .8 a solid upgrade if you're putting down more power or doing some serious off-roading. 9-inch axle. Now this is the heavy hitter. Known for its strength and modular design, with a 9-inch ring gear and larger components, it can handle over 4,000 pound-feet of torque, making it great for high horsepower or torquey applications like towing. However, it's heavier and more expensive to build and maintain. The 8.8 .8 can still handle plenty of power, 
up to around 3,500 foot-pounds with uh, 31 spline shafts, but it's lighter, more cost-effective, and it's a better option for most builds. The Dana 44 and the Dana 60. The Dana 44, often found in the front of four-wheel drive trucks, is solid for moderate off-roading, but doesn't quite match the rear 8.8 strength for towing or higher torque builds. The Dana 60 is a different story. This axle can handle well over 5,000 foot-pounds of torque, making it ideal for extreme off-road or heavy-duty use. However, it's much heavier, and again, it's probably overkill unless you're doing serious towing or crawling. So installing a Ford 8.8-inch in your bullnose isn't too tricky because it came like that from the factory. But there's a few things to keep in mind. First off, make sure your new axle has the correct pinion angle for your truck suspension setup. Getting this angle wrong can lead to vibration issues that are a pain to deal with. If you're moving from a smaller axle like the 7.5 to the 8.8, you may need to make some modifications to fit the larger axle tubes and ring gear. For example, the axle shafts are thicker and stronger, so you want to double check your clearance. Additionally, if you decide to swap from drum to disc brakes, uh, that'll require new brake lines and compatible calipers if you're doing that, so be prepared for some extra work there. Also, keep an eye on weight distribution, especially if you're doing any performance mods like lowering or lifting your truck. Adjusting the pinion angle and verifying your suspension geometry are crucial steps for ensuring smooth performance and avoiding wear on your driveline. Double check your torque specs on the axle nuts and make sure everything's torqued down to prevent any looseness down the road. The Ford 8.8 inch axle is a popular candidate for upgrades, especially for those looking to handle more power or do more serious off-roading. Upgrading your axle shaft to 31 spline versions is a power move, especially if you're pushing more horses or plan to pull some. The 31 spline shafts offer a substantial increase in strength over the stock 28 spline versions, providing extra peace of mind when hauling or driving like a maniac, if you're into that. Another modification to consider is reinforcing the axle housing with an axle truss, especially if you're taking your truck off-road. The truss adds rigidity to the axle and helps prevent bending or flexing. So, to wrap it all up, the Ford 8.8-inch axle wasn't just a random replacement for the 9-inch, it was part of Ford's effort to create a more cost-effective yet durable solution for their lineup of light-duty trucks, SUVs, and performance cars. Ford knew the 9-inch was a beast, so they needed something that could handle a wide range of applications without driving up production costs. The 8.8 .8 delivered that balance perfectly, offering a strong, reliable axle that could handle towing, off-roading, and performance builds without breaking the bank. And here's a fun fact, while the 8.8-inch .8 axle started out in trucks and Mustangs, it's now a popular swap option for all kinds of vehicles, including hot rods and even some off-brand 4x4s. That's how versatile and well-regarded this axle has become. So, whether you're upgrading or just keeping your bullnose running strong, the 8.8 .8 has proven itself a go-to axle that Ford got right pretty much from the start. As for me, I've already got an 8.8 .8 in my S150. Now, it's probably the uh, 28 spline version. I haven't actually taken off the, the, uh, uh, the pumpkin housing and checked, but uh, when I do that, I suspect I'm gonna find a 28 spline version. Now I'm looking at putting about four to 500 horsepower through that truck eventually. So I may be a candidate for upgrading to a 31 spline, but I don't think I need to go quite as far as the nine inch. All right guys, well, there you go. Everything that I know or pretend to know about the Ford 8.8 .8 rear axle, just like I've got right here in the back of the donor. Obviously sent down from God, as you can see, the rays coming down on this beautiful roached out chassis. Guys, if you learned something, if uh, you like this kind of content, if it did a good job, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I really appreciate that. If you want to support the channel, head to the merch store, get yourself a cool hat, t-shirt, bumper sticker, that kind of stuff. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, gripes, internet ramblings, stick them below. And as always, thanks again for watching, guys. We will see you next time.